Literally, I can show you guys what I do against Literally, usually, you ward here. You try to get into river and ward there, if you get to. If your team gets a ward on chicks, that's good, but the reason why you ward here is because Nidalee is going to start red and then tap into your blue. You can do this ward as late as possible, usually I just drop him. Okay, it's like somebody walks here. Yeah, most people don't know. She's gonna do red and then hop here, or here, or here, but you're gonna see her either way. And then it's way better to have this information when she's here, because you have seconds to react, than to have this information when she's here, or here, or even on your buff already. But honestly, it doesn't matter if she's on your buff already. Yeah, this is a really good ward, actually. I, I didn't came, come up with this ward, by the way. I watched... Uh, what is the rank one US jungler? The German guy. Aguin or something like that? I, I watch him. It's like, you know... Like, to learn shit about jungle. And yeah, it's like a really fucking good ward. She is most likely gonna invade here. At some point. It's a bad smite. Brandle warded this. Against Kindred and Nidalee, it's pretty optimal. Now, the only thing that could happen, of course, like, this is us playing for, like, the optimal thing, like, Nidalee could do is jump over this wall. What could happen is that Nidalee just doesn't play optimal, and, you know, she late invades or whatever. For that, you can prepare too, though, which I am gonna do this game. Put a point in E, back on your free camps, walk here with E and Longsword. The better you clear this, the better the strategy works. But If you know that it's a jungler that should invade you, then just play like this, because at least... Are you weak? Am I fucking weaker right now than if I just cleared? Yes, but I have a chance to be on the map here, level 3. What then is that? Unfortunately, not much we can do about that. We didn't have information on Nidalee. So now Nidalee might actually come here. And we should fight this because I have a longsword. Unfortunately, we moved extremely fucking late for this on my Zeros part. And it's still gonna work out. But like, uh, I, I was kind of forced to fight her there. It would have been like much better if my Seraph like saw them walk here and he already walked here when they are here, but he walked when she, she sta he started walking when she was here, queuing me. So that is like obviously way too late for the play, but in all reality it still kind of worked out for us, so it was just like again, like I don't know. There's like nothing you can do about this as a jungler. Like, in all reality, of course, she should have, like, he should have, like, been there, like, way fucking earlier. Because I pinged him and we had vision and everything. So, yeah. She has no blue buff, but she has Sork Boots, so this is already, like, an unkillable champion for me right now. It would have been amazing if this play would have worked out smoother, but... And what the fuck are you gonna do? Yeah, this is like literally the best you can do in this situation, 100%. I mean, I could have walked away, but then, like, they would have walked away too. And I actually had a good fight there because I had Longsword on Nidalee, who was level 3 with nothing. And she doesn't know that I have, uh, that I have my, my stun up, right? So this is actually a favorable fight for us, but our support just completely played it. Definitely behind. Nidalee is probably gonna path into bot side here. Ally 
him. This might be a play. He didn't hit twenty. What the fuck, bro? How is that even possible? <laughs> oh fucking well, man. I guess we pick a skill shot champion and miss fucking three skill shots. She's shot down too, by the way. Which is like the tragedy. Oh, I don't want to fight this, bro. Like, he's just gonna walk away and now we can't even fucking Drake. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that is literally what I fucking mean, right? Can't Dragon anymore. OMG, bro. Nice W2, though. Gonna go trim this game. I, I hate playing Xerox Gage when I'm behind already. Doesn't scale well, I feel like, into the wind game. This can't be real, but this is... This is just how it is, man. And then, like, they troll too, right? Like, when I talk about low game quality, I'm not just talking about my team, but you saw how Nidalee and Silas played this too. It's just complete, like, brain off fight no like consideration for item gold power specs or anything and unfortunately since jungle xp is so crippled as a jungler you kind of have to play for that because like let's say jungle xp would be healthy if jungle xp would be healthy that would mean i could literally farm i could literally just be like okay nidalee does this really retarded thing i'm gonna get a lot of xp for that for taking her jungle and she is not gonna come back into the game from that fortunately Jungle doesn't play like this because XP is really bad and then also catch up XP is in the game which is like ridiculous by the way like absolutely fucking ridiculous I have to skip this can't even fight him because he has first strike never mind he is that bad like bro this is the elo I'm fucking playing and this guy like literally just fucking nah, didn't attack move my bad this guy didn't even fucking rock his first strike on me to combo me and then he walked away from his minions and <laughs> it's just so unfun honestly these games the game quality is just so like low jungle getting nerfed again i think the, the nerfs got pulled Look how fucking scuffed my game is, because I have to play like this to exist in this game. I have to play like a complete smeager because Nidalee does, and there's no incentive to not do this. Sucks. I had ult. Instead of ulting, she just misses seven auto attacks while I have to flash. I need to W2, if anything. To be fair, I don't know if she would have even killed the... Oh wow, my ending sign is ending. With a fucking completely outdated build. That's gonna be cool and fun. And I get basically <laughs> nothing. I get basically nothing for this, by the way. Nidalee and me are the same XP, same gold. Even if I had double her fucking CS right now, it would be the same.
Okay, Cyan with the whatever just happened to him. I don't think Nidalee played this game strong enough though for her to snowball. She didn't. Yeah, and you know, I'm completely fine with them changing jungle up, right? Making it less gank intensive and more like farm intensive. But that's not what they want to do. He says junglers are OP. He doesn't say, okay, well, hold up. Ganking junglers are OP. Normal ass junglers are not OP. Udi is not fucking OP. Most of the junglers that are OP right now are just junglers that just cheese and play like retards. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe it's not a jungle, but maybe it's just like that there's junglers that are just way too fucking oppressive because of how little punishment they get. Right, like literally, like the fact that she plays like this, 60 CS just walks around, same level as me. Like, literally not even playing jungle at this point. That is the issue, bro. Nothing else is the fucking issue. <laughs> And I could full clean, I did this many times before, it doesn't matter the way you think. It's not like I'm gonna be like super ahead of Nidalee. She just takes essential camps like from... Right, grab, buff. Shit like that. And then she's just on, on the fucking road, man. <laughs> Homie got the whole three people are top four people are top lane. My my roll is so broken. I thought it's literally just Nidalee and Brom, and I was like, okay, I have leave for ten point Trinity. No, it's four people. It's a it's one play, guys. Can we fucking like? Relax, bro. Relax, man. Yeah, exactly. Laners wanna have fun, junglers wanna play league. That's pretty much the difference. And you know what? That in turn makes junglers lazy fucks too. I think they should have never changed the jungle clear thing with the pet, by the way. It made jungle way too trivial. Like, it made jungling way too trivial, you know? They kind of made it so that, like, you don't even really have to know how to clear to do a good clear. In a way. Which is kind of annoying. Wow, uh, count. Hey, she she would have died there, guys. I fucking promise you, she would have fucking died there. If she if she played like a human, she would have absolutely fucking died there. If she auto attacked me twice, they would have like not even killed her. And I almost just died there for nothing. What is so important on the map right now, guys? I'm just scared that Trondo comes and kills me, but... They actually kind of got it there. Yeah, clearing is really boring, and it feels like also kind of weird and inconsistent. I don't know if that's just me being a boomer or something. But I don't think that the pet functions the same as the burn did. 
I don't think that the pet instantly damages as soon as you damage. I think it can auto take like literally up to like half a second later. I have no idea what causes that, but the way I see it, the way I see it, most of the time, the pet just attacks kind of randomly. Sometimes I smite and there's a white number without my pet actually auto attacking, like right, like the white number for my pet. And sometimes I smite and there is no fucking pet damage for like seconds, unironically. I just have to go in. Okay, it's a fucking far to actually do anything there. This pillar. But, I mean, I have to say, this team is pretty good though. They move, they fight, even though we didn't get the objective, this is a good team. Man, the old jungle items were like literally super. Every time Riot changes something, I almost feel like it just arguably gets worse, man. Not everything, that's not fair to say. They do like a lot of like good jobs with like reworks and other things, art, music. Especially like everything art related and like story related is pretty amazing when it comes to League of Legends, but. When it comes to like changing systems, I feel like they have like a really strange approach to changing shit. That's what I mean. Literally, just didn't play the game strong enough to actually snowball. I just smite to get the assist. Literally, only works if you like play really fucking hardcore, invading, hardcore objectives, hardcore everything. Like you basically just take essential camps like red buff, chickens, rum. Blue buff, shit like that. You don't like actually like jungle. This champion doesn't scale, so. You know what? I would even agree with you, but I feel like right now. I feel like right now, there's like almost no point in. Um, I mean, if you go AP, of course you go the Monix, but I feel like Barmies would be such a good component if the game would be more balanced with the damage. Because then you building this is actually like, it actually like does something, you know. I don't really fuck with Trundle here, do I? Nah, it was like kind of warded too. I'm down to skirmish mid then right now. He sidestepped all. Do I really have to take half my HP with just because of a simple ass little Lee fucking spear? Approach, so I still have my Sterox gauge too. I'm 
I'm literally just gonna walk to try to find it. We can get Brawl if I think. I'm such a sad that I'm doing that now, perhaps. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with like Trinity Force, bro. You're just so strong. Like, what other item just casually deals like 2k damage for you while giving you sets like this? Like, literally no item. Oh, look at him. He even gives me the fucking main fucking golden XP, man. Holy shit. My laners are playing with me, not against me. It's insane. I can just skip and do this, yeah. What a fucking shocking game, bro. I wanted to flash, but I didn't have flash. I would have actually just flashed for him here. So all this is nothing. He doesn't have flash, you don't have Haha. I need to go. Oh, he lived with like fucking one. If I kill, then I get triumph and then I kill Natalie too. So. I kind of for fun that there though, like, uh, in all reality, pressing E2 would have done so much more there for me than pressing Q2. Because I got stunned twice in like, past uh, succession. I got stunned by his ult and then by his passive. So, even if I just blocked one of the two stuns, I would have like killed him there, I think. But then also I felt like, okay, I have like tenacity from the shield, right, so... Again. Yeah, I mean, see, that's what I mean with this build, bro. You can tell me whatever you want. I'm tanky, I'm fast, and I do like so much fucking damage. This is like always, this is always really the best build if somebody would ask me. If there's just one build you should play, it's probably this one. It is such a high tempo place, it's such a good fucking build. Why did I take turret up bro? Was it for my R? No! Get me out! Nice. Appreciate the content on YouTube recently had prior to it to help promote your videos. Yo man, fucking good job bro. Always happy if my videos can help people. It's like literally why I make these videos. I'm gonna give it to this guy. This guy, guys. I'm kind of like sorry if I like tilted this game, but like honestly, I had so fucking bad games today, so I might have been like a little bit on the edge with like things in general, even though my team did well. But yeah, if there's like one build you should play on AD Woody, it's 100% copy paste this. Swifties too, so good. Slows are like your biggest enemy on AD Woody too, if you don't get to auto attack. I'm gonna go 